What's up, everybody? Uh, this is this is what's up, everybody? This is Afro Joe, and uh, I know I should do this story when it came out, but I had to do it today. But uh, uh, today, uh, well, the picture you see is a picture of Natina Reed, you may know her from a singing group, and you may know her from uh, the movie Bring It On, the first Bring It On with Kristen Dunst, and uh, she was a uh, hit. She was uh, she was struck. And killed late Friday, walking across the street and uh, across the highway near Hampton Road, which is just north of Libya, of Georgia suburbs. Of the, um, he said she was uh, struck and killed Friday in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, the driver of the vehicle contacted police to report the accident. Rescuers responded, pro performing CPR on on her at the scene before she was taken to the medical center where she was pronounced dead at 10.59 p.m. Uh, the driver who hit her is not being charged. Ritter told MTV it was an accident that all that's all of it and it was not a hit and run. Reed was best known to remember as the third of the Atlanta based girls who broke ground in the industry in 1999. Billboard Hot 100 chart hits such as Bring It To Me, Bring It On To Me, which feature in feature NSYNC and 808. And, uh, and it was said that she was struck right before her birthday. Uh, she survived by her, her her son, which is ten years old, that she had with her boyfriend. Was engaged to. She was engaged, and they was never married. And she would have turned thirty three Sunday. And it's kind of sad that she was uh, struck and killed Friday right before her birthday, two days before her birthday, and she leaves behind a 10-year-old son and her fiancé, and it's kind of sad to see another singer go down like that being struck by a car. Now, I'm going to put the story up in the description box now. It's sad to me because I already had, uh, when I first heard about this story, I just lost a friend, and I just lost a relative, so it came in threes. It was kind of sad that this happened to her on the, on the worst time that her son needed her the most. It was kind of ten, it was kind of sad because she had her kid ten years ago. That was back in two thousand and two. But like they say, they don't last forever. God calls you home when He wants you. But it is very sad that she died like that, struck by a car by crossing the highway. And, uh, and I tell you this that uh, and I tell you this that, that it's sad to see this because she didn't deserve this but like I said you can't go against God but I, it, she will be missed on this because one thing is she was a great singer and she was a great actress but that's sad that she leaves behind a 10 year old son and which needed her the most and uh, uh, prayers go out to her and her family and show much love about that but it was still kind of said they're not pressing charges per, for the person that struck her which I, which I can understand because they stayed at the scene to help her and they did the right thing by calling the police and and um uh, I kind of, like I said they didn't uh, like I said I agree with that they're not getting arrested because they sat there and they was there for, with her and they needed the, they, they they I'm just glad they was there and to see somebody fall down like that man get hurt 
like it's sad man because we losing so many artists out there from certain things from drugs from guns and over the, from guns and all this and that man now to see that an artist getting struck by a car that would take her out and I, that's kind of sad to see her that, that like I said man I'm going to say this I know it's not going to have nothing to do with this story but I'll say it like this even though it's Halloween I'm going to say like this always be safe never drink and drive buckle up pay attention to the road watch your surroundings because you don't know what's going to happen out there on the road and to see that these people struck her and they did the right thing by calling 911 and helping her until she passed away that shows that these people do have respect and they do did the right thing so I cannot be mad at these people if, it was, if they was drunk off their ass yeah I could be pissed off but you can't blame these people from striking her, striking, striking, striking her with the car. But they could have slowed down a little bit or something, or slammed on their brakes or something, or missed her or something. But accidents happen for a reason. <coughs> like I said, I cannot blame her for. I can't blame the people that struck her for this because one thing is. We are human, we make mistakes, we screw up. But like I said, man, be cautious when you get behind get behind the wheel of a car or a truck or get on a motorcycle. Be careful out there because you don't know what's gonna go out there and come out there in front of you. See what I'm saying, but and and it's sad that, that we lost her so soon. And she would have been 33 on Sunday. Even the rapper was born. Mother thanks fans for outpour, outpouring on well wishes and statements to MTV. Would like the family like to? Thank everyone for the their love and support during the tragic time. And I'm, I'm 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 just sad about this. Man. Like I'm not like for, like I didn't know her, but it's kind of heartbreaking to see that. Like it's kind of heartbreaking to see this, especially because she leaves behind a little boy. She leaves behind a little boy because one thing is, because one thing is that little boy's gonna grow up without a mother. And uh, like I said, I'm glad she was out there in the entertainment business to entertain us. But I guess when God call, when God calls you, it's time to go. But like I said, man, it was saying I, my prayers go out to the family. Uh, Natina Reed. And uh, and uh, I I just can't I just can't say nothing more than that. Day. And uh, I look at it like this, man. That. We might lost her, but she's still here. See what I'm saying? You can still go on YouTube and look up the video she was in, watch the movie, bring it on, or or uh, listen to it, download her music if you pay for it, and still listen to her. So she's just, she might not be here in body, but she's still here in the spirit. See what I'm saying? But. That boy, that little boy is going to grow up without a mother. That's the worst thing that a child can go through is growing up without a parent. That's the saddest thing you can go through is to grow up without a parent. Grow up without a parent. And, uh, and like I said, like this man, when you can, like, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to go off topic a little bit and say this. Just because holidays like Halloween comes around doesn't mean you gotta drink your ass off 
and get behind the wheel of a car because that one mistake can get you in a lot of trouble because you was drinking and driving uh, like I said please be safe when you drink and drive because well, no it's wrong please be safe when you're driving never drink and drive because one thing is when you get behind the wheel of a car and you've been drinking that's a weapon no matter what the law will see that as a weapon if you strike somebody and you're drunk you're going to jail for uh, endangerment for murder because they can charge you as a murder for striking somebody with a car while you're drunk like I said and, and I just can't wrap my head around that she's leaving leaving a little boy behind like I know you probably say you need to stop saying that but you gotta think about it this child's gonna grow up without his mama I said that's gonna leave that boy scarred and he's gonna sit there and have issues growing up unless if his father helps him out through the way helps him out but like I said man be careful when you're driving but I'm so that's a sad to the music community that another star has fallen now she's chilling up there with Lisa Lefta Lopez Jam Master J, Tupac Biggie um, Lisa, uh, Aaliyah like I said man be careful when you're out there man cause you don't know what's gonna happen um, like they said they're not gonna call this a hit and run because the people stayed there because like I said man they're not going to get arrested for for the hit and run so I really can't blame the police down in Atlanta Georgia but y'all got to be careful man be, just be careful I know this video is going to be kind of short now but it's like yes man I should have did a video um days ago but I was kind of busy wrapped up so like I said man be careful out on the road especially around the holidays man because drinking and driving does not mix so well it can get you in a lot of trouble well this has been Afro Joe Tanner like TIS again so uh, follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie subscribe to my channel CeeLo Jr. 2 CeeLo Jr. 3 holla peace love and so but be careful. Peace out.